Okay, a cop once talked about something known as officer presence. Now notice that I'm wearing a t-shirt. Usually if I'm going to meet renters, I'm going to want to wear like a white shirt and a tie and a suit. Look, you know, really nice. That's because of something known as officer presence, or in this case it would be owner presence. The renter has to feel that you're a professional. So if you dress like a professional, they're going to be more likely to pay you. On the other hand, if you dress real crappy and the house looks real crappy and messy, they're going to be less likely to pay you. You're going to want to have a shoe that's kind of like this one. It's a black dress shoe. And let me say, you're not going to want to have a shoe that's like this one. This is a running shoe. It's great for doing work such as construction, but it's not that great when you're doing stuff like uh, meeting renters. Now you might say, well, I don't know what you're talking about. They're going to be less likely to pay you because you're going to seem less professional. And if you seem less professional, then they're going to say, you know what, I don't think I need to pay this guy. In fact, I'm not going to pay this guy. And what will happen is you're going to have to evict the renter and that's going to cost you money and also you're going to lose time and it's going to create a lot of problems. You want to look as professional as you can. Also you want your property to look as presentable as you can make it look and otherwise your ability to rent is going to be reduced by a considerable amount and you're going to make a lot less money. So let's go over it once more. You need to be professional and presentable and have officer presence or in this case it would be owner presence. Think of it this way, a cop dresses a certain way with a uniform. Now imagine if the uniform was all scruffy, imagine if it was messy and old and, and dirty and you'd think less of that person. It's the same with you. You're going to think less of a person that does not act in a professional manner. So it's not just professional appearance, it's also the way you carry yourself and the way you act. And that's what I, what I call owner presence. And you have to understand that people are judging you every second. And you also have to understand that 90% of the information that comes into the brain comes in through the eyes. So if the property looks really nice, you dress really nice, your chances of renting it go up. Now at one time I didn't believe this. I remember it was my dad that told me. And I was like, oh, come on, wearing a suit's not going to help me sell more. It's certainly not going to help me rent more. Uh, well, he was right and I was wrong. People judge you on your appearance. People do judge a book by its cover. That's just how they are. And I'm not going to tell you that that's right or that's wrong. I'm just going to tell you that's how it is. And I remember there was this realtor who sold huge million-dollar houses and he would dress real scruffy and in torn up blue jeans and, and he would still sell these multi-million dollar houses. Well, he's an exception to the rule and you can't really go by that person. There's always going to be exceptions and you're going to say, well, so-and-so smoked cigars and he lived to be 90. Uh, so that means that cigars do not cause cancer. You know, well, he was lucky. You know, some people just have... They're so good at what they do that even if they dress real crappy, they can get away with it. But for the most of us, we have to do everything we can to do the best that we can. So uh, dressing real crappy and, you know, it's not going to help you. You know, instead of me wearing this, I should wear instead of a nice suit and a tie. And, and I should wear clothes that make me look better. I mean, it's just, I know it's not fair, but that's just how it is. And one of the things that you have to focus on is when somebody tells you, okay, why is this renter renting from you? The answer is usually price. But another reason is they feel comfortable, you know, renting from you. They think that you're a professional, you're going to take care of things. Now, if they see that you're real messy, the house is real messy, they're going to think this person doesn't take care of anything. If something breaks and I call them up, they're, they're going to say, oh, sorry, you're on your own and I'm going to be stuck. On the other hand, if they see that everything's really nice and everything's really clean and, and uh, you have a professional appearance, they're going to think, well, this person, I can trust them, that they'll probably fix things if something goes wrong.
So that's how it is.